CSP Illustration, you'll have this thing called a perspective ruler, where you can map out your perspective. Or you can use the 3D layer and then click this. It makes it easier to draw on. Similarly, you can do something like that, but animate it. To start off, we need this type of background. There's a lot of names for this thing. 360 panorama, equilateral projection, and HDRI. It lets you look around in one position, something like Google Street View. You can search for backgrounds in Google, or go to some websites like Polyhaven for HDRIs, or even take panoramic photos uh, for yourself. You can either leave it as it is, or trace it. That's what I did for this particular animation. A manual alternative would be to draw the BG yourself with an equirectangular perspective grid. I'll put that in the description. There's also Clip Studio Assets as well, if you want to use this function for illustration purposes. I'll put that in the description also. For the sake of this video, I made my own BG. Now once you have your background, go to your layer tab, create new layer, and 3D layer. Then go to your operation tool, and then select this pyramid with a cube looking thing. Then in your tool property, if you don't know how to go to your tool property, go window, then go uh, tool property object. Fuck. Uh, yeah, um, in your tool property, you'll see this thing called panorama. There are two main options. One is to import a file from Clip Studio Assets, and another one is to import a file from your uh, computer. Uh, I'll show you the material, the Clip Studio Assets uh, material first. So I will load it up. Here you can see you can move around uh, with just your left click. It's it's mostly like Google Street View. You just zoom in, zoom out for perspective. Uh, very cool stuff. I want to show you guys some stuff I recently found out. So you can control the tilt by with, with roll. And if you open up panorama, you'll see this sneaky little thing. I haven't seen this before. S fish eye perspective. And then when you zoom out completely, it looks very trippy. And I find it really, really cool. And if you want to add more dynamic dynamicism to your animation or anything, you just adjust the roll and boom. Whoa, it's very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, now I'm going to import my own panoramic texture. What you want to do is go to open, then click your own texture. Uh, here I have my example BG work. Let me just reset the things. At first glance, you might think, Gin, why is this so low quality? It was because you drew your background at low quality. So if you want this to have more quality, you have to draw in 4K, something like that. Now using fish eye perspective and a bit of zoom, I could do this. Now how do you animate on this? You make a layer folder, put the 3D layer inside the layer folder, and put the layer folder inside the animation folder. I'll just delete this. Uh, for CSP to register it as a cell, you just rename the folder to 1. So it'll show up, it'll show up here. Um, as you make a new animation cell, you just move it slightly. And you have to do this every time you make a new cell. It's very tedious, but it gives that stop-motion-esque feeling, which I like about this technique. Then let's render it out. It looks something like this. So obviously in the final render, it'll look better than this playback. You can play around with the parameters here. Usually in Blender or Maya or Cinema 4D, you'll have keyframes. You can adjust the keyframes. Like uh, from here is like zero fish eye perspective, and here is like hundreds of fish eye perspective. But in CSP, you can't do that. You cannot do that. So you you have to do it manually. So let's say you don't want fish eye here, then uh, the next frame, uh, 17. Next frame is uh, thir 30. Then the next, and then the next, and then the next, etc. Then you can name this folder uh, BG. And then just make another animation folder on top of it and then animate on top of it. Simple as that. I'll make a little bouncing ball animation. Hopefully I can time lapse it. No, I, I don't think I did I don't think I even need to time lapse it. Yeah, uh, I guess it's okay. Anyways, I hope this video helps. I have to go take a shit. Bye bye.